born on ICC. Hey, yeah, you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Brooke Nazati, uh, also known as a Christian, also known as uh, Mark Nazati. And I was asked to talk to you today about possessions. And frankly, I got more questions than I have answers. Um, you know, I grew up uh, as a child feeling like I didn't have much. Looking back, I was blessed with a lot. Uh, and I continue to be blessed. I have a great uh, wife, dog, and I have all sorts of possessions. I have a house, two cars, uh, everything and anything that I want. But I ask, you know, what am I supposed to do with all these possessions? How, you know, how am I supposed to really live with all these possessions? You know, two years ago I went to um, Guatemala on a mission trip, and what really hit me the most was I took more on that trip than a lot of the people I met and helped have in their entire life. And I'm not sure God wants each and every single one of us to give up all of our possessions, um, but I don't know that he doesn't want some of us to do that. And the ones that he does give um, a lot of possessions to, I think it's a challenge for us to figure out how to live a Christian life with those possessions. So I think about uh, Luke 12, 48, and uh, somewhere Matt and other places, I'm sure, uh, that to much is given, much will be asked of. Um, and, I, and I feel like the answer that I have on how to live with possessions is to not make them uh, idols and to just realize every day that I have those things through God's will and they're really God's possessions and I'm just uh, the courier of them uh, for now and I need to figure out how to use them uh, for God's um, joy and uh, proclamation and because you know it's so easy to become safe and secure with all these possessions that you know, wealth, I don't have to worry about living paycheck to paycheck. In a house, I don't have to worry about rain and storms. And, you know, my cars, I don't have to worry about scheduling how we're going to get from point A to point B. We have all these things, and we become self-reliant. And that, that's, that's sinful, and that's a dangerous, slippery slope that, you know, we are so thankful that God's given us this type of security uh, with our possessions, but we need to make sure that we don't uh, live sinfully with it, that we are thankful every day for these gifts. All right, that's, I mean, that's all I got. Uh, Brooke, anything to add? No. <laughs> all right, peace out.